Hey guys, what's up? So, I'm sick of uh, going into dark places with my Bronco and not being able to see what's in my truck. So, I actually park in a parking structure sometimes, but I can't see in my truck. I don't have any like dome light in my old Bronco. So, I picked these up about a year ago. Totally actually forgot about them. I had them in a box. And the other day I had to find some in my truck and I had been using my flashlight. But, uh, so I bought these on Amazon. Put a link where you can get them. And so I wanted to put two of these inside the Bronco connected to my roll cage. And I have a couple of mounts here that I bought. Came with some extra rubber. So I wanted to put one facing forward and one facing backwards. And I need to get power up to my roll cage. But yeah, it looks like they gave you a couple different rubber things. But yeah, I'm thinking a year ago or more than a year ago I bought these things. So should hopefully have all the hardware still. And we'll test these real fast. My power supply. I'll show you where I'm gonna mount them. All right. All right, there they are. So I'm gonna have, like I said, I'm gonna have one facing forward and one facing backwards, and I'll show you that. But they're pretty bright. So that should definitely, I think, get enough room for my cabin. All right, I'll show you what's up. Yeah, I've been doing wanting to do this for a while. I always originally I put a dome light in here. That I could actually control right there. But I have a roll bar up here. And I didn't know if I was going to put it here. I thought I'd actually have one going each way. So I'd maybe have one facing forward and one facing backwards. Like that maybe. Not sure, but I still got to find a way to get the wire up here. So, you know, one, one of those... Uh, those little things facing forwards I could see in the front of my truck and then one in the back so I could actually see in the back. Um, yeah, because sometimes I go on camping trips and dark trips and it'd be nice to be able to turn that on and see what's in the, in the truck. And What I currently have to use is like if I'm in a, in a parking truck and it's super dark, I have to take that flashlight out and find like my headphones or whatever, you know, like when I go to the gym or whatever, you know. But um, hopefully this will make it a lot easier if I can just hit a switch and turn the lights on and off. All right, cool. All right, so one of the things I had to do was get, I need to get a wire up to the top and I want to get inside this roll bar. So it's a, I guess what they call a six point cage, wraps around, but I, I think I can get it through here if you can see that, but see where it bolts back here. I'm thinking I can drill a hole through the bottom because I'm, I'm gonna run the wire through the bottom of the Bronco. You know, maybe if I can drill a hole through the bottom right in between the center of that, I can uh, bring that up and then I'll drill a hole in the back of this and use my, my shop vac to suck a, a st small piece of string through it and then go up back up and pull a wire. You know, like a small, maybe like 20 gauge or 22 gauge wire. Um, all right. All right, so there are the four bolts. So I'm guessing right in the center is, hopefully, is where we're gonna drill a hole and it'll go through into the pipe. All right. One of these days I gotta fix all these old roll cages. I've actually had a couple different roll cages in here. Look at all the holes I gotta, I gotta weld all these shut. So one of these days when I get a new carpet kit, you know, I'm gonna take this whole floor off and redo the whole floor. All right, so I'm gonna pull a hole up here as kind of high as I can go. I mean, it'd have been nice to come down the top when the top's off, but I can be able to fit up there. So as high as I can kind of go, I'm at that angle. But I, I, if the hole's not big enough to get enough airflow, then I'll have to go back and make the holes bigger. But, uh, all, right. all right, so I have some really thin, thin, light string. And that's what I've used before in the past. Oop, actually, I actually almost knocked this off. But this is actually the vacuum, my shop, little shop vac. Once I turn this on, it's gonna help. It's gonna stay where it needs to be, but might need to do something with this, but we'll give it our first go here. guy and a cabling contractor so I do have some pretty cool tools for fishing cables but uh, yeah can't, the string's not coming out so I want to see if it's actually fished or stuck somewhere. Right, yeah, so I don't know if you can even see it in the scope but I can see the wire it's hung up on something area right there. All right all right that sucks I can't get the air vacuum thing to work so I have an old uh, fish tape uh, that I'm just gonna it's actually one of my old broken ones I'm just gonna tape on some stuff I don't want to get my tip stuck in there 
expensive fish tape. So anyway, I've saved myself about a half an hour from the get-go if I were to try that. So now I gotta get my tool in there. Actually, I'm gonna try to grab the string. Maybe I could grab that. I don't wanna grab that. I wanna grab the string. All right, so I'll work on that. All right, there it is. I got my wire taped onto my rope here. Having an inspection camera definitely saves a lot of time. So, all right, I'm gonna pull that back, pull the fish tape back through, and then I'm gonna pull this back through once the fish tape is done. So, all right, 24 gauge wire. All right, got them mounted here. Gotta do the wires, but I kind of wanted them weatherproof too in case I ever take this top off. And because I live down here at the beach, put them around a lot of salty air here. All right, gotta do these wires. Try to hide them up in there. See if I can maybe fish them back in that hole. You know the hole that the wire goes through. All right, get that going. I'll solder them. All right, I think I, the wires hit pretty good. Can't really even see them. That's right there. All right, got a sleeve coming out. Come around, goes up to the engine compartment, or not the engine compartment, but under the dash. And we'll do a, a night test. So we can see how good the light is. All right, it's pretty dark now, so let's see what's up with this thing. Let's see if this thing works. Yeah, I wish it would open up, you know, like the light would come on when I open the door up, but you know, I'll just have to something nowhere though. That's right, let's turn this on. There we go. There we go, take a look. Yeah, totally, totally can see here now. And also in the back too. So if I ever break down, I need to get to my tools. You know, it's back there, so. All right, pretty cool. I think I spent like 50 bucks on hardware. Yeah, this is over a year ago, so. All right, guys, look, looking pretty good. And there's light, it says dome on it right there. All right, one more time. On, or off, on. All right, there it is, guys. Cool.